Welcome to Google Apps Script. This tutorial, we are going to see how to save files to Google Drive. Even when the files don't exist, we just have folders. And if you want to save some particular file to the Google Drive, how will we do it? Hi, I'm Vivian. And let's continue to our App Scripts website. And I'll start with a new project. I'll call this file save data drive for this project purposes what I'm doing is I'm creating a new folder called a saving data folder and inside this folder as you can see there's nothing in right now so I'm going to keep this saving data folder open go back to the project and since it's saved now I am going to write some code here so let's take the folder name I like to keep my variables clean so I'm gonna have my folder name inside a variable I'll call it saving data next the file that I want to save so I'm gonna call it file name equal to I'm gonna save a text file so I'll call it data.txt file and I want to add some data inside this text file so I am going to get probably some date or date time current date time and save that in Unix time format so I'm gonna say data to save equal to and then the file that I the way to get current date in JavaScript is date and to convert it into a Unix timestamp have to do value of for that particular and it might sometimes give me a give me a decimal value so I'm gonna do math dot around to round that value and there you go so we have this data that I want to save inside a particular file so now let's go ahead and get the folder that I need so I'm gonna say get folders variable folders equal to drive app dot get folders by name and I have my folder name above folder name so that's my folder next let's since it's gonna give me an iterator I'm gonna say if folders dot has next so if the folder exists I'm gonna do is get the folder dot equal to folders dot next that will give me the first folder with that particular name since I have only one it will give me that now I want to check if the file is already existing or not so um, I'm gonna say where variable existing equal to folder dot get um, file by name get files by name and I have my file name so I'm gonna give that so that's that will give me get me the file if it exists so um, let's check if it exists since it's not there we know that but still it's good way to kind of make sure that it doesn't exist so if has next if existing has next which is uh, if the file is existing I'll get a iterator and I can say file equal to existing dot next so this will give me the file next I want to check if file na if file dot get name if the file matches the name of the file so I'm going to give three equal to which means it matches exactly to the file and the variable and the type we will not have the file so since it doesn't exist so I'm gonna go to else and inside else I will say file equal to folder dot create file I want to give the file name and the data that I want to put inside which is data to save 
gonna add it here if the file was existing then I can probably add some data to it but I want to save it only the first time so I know that this will not go through so I'm gonna just add a logger message here just to make sure that we see what I'm talking about file doesn't exist and what if the file already exists so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say file exist so that's why I wrote this side of the code so save this run this project and since it's trying to access Google Drive I am going to say give it access what we saw before this app isn't verified so we go advanced this allow and this will let it access my Google Drive run it let's look at the logs and as you can see it says file exist why because the first time when I ran and gave permission it created the file and added it inside it let's see let's look at it so if you see this was added 418 and now it's 419 so this was added back then if I go ahead and delete this file so it doesn't exist run this again look at the logs and there you say file doesn't exist so that means it's going to create it and if I run it again of course it's going to say let's go to logs and you'll see it will come saying file exists and there you go so that's how we can save files to google drive from our code